Welcome everybody back to our Soto Machine Project. In this episode we're going to expand on our runner from just using our basic Soto class to um, using our Soto Machine and working with the 2D array of sodas. Alright, so let's get started. The first thing that we're going to need to do is to be able to um, create an instance of the scanner class so that we can get input from the user. So we'll say scanner reader is equal to new scanner system.in and then we'll need to go to the top and import scanner so we'll say import java.util.scanner Then we'll, we'll also need to create an instance of, let's put our comments in. We'll need to create an instance of the soda machine. Um, so, so we'll say soda machine, uh, machine, is equal to new soda machine. And then we'll go ahead and stock the machine. So we'll say, so we know that it's stocked before we're using it, but you could also stock it in other places um, in your interface if you like. Um, for instance, after an entire column of sodas have been uh, removed by the user. So we'll say machine dot stock soda machine. And I'll go back into my soda machine and look at my stock method. So I do have a method that's called stock soda machine. Okay. Now We'll go ahead and um, print out a welcome message to the user. So we'll say, and we'll say system.out.print ln. Welcome to, or here, let's say, welcome. Here are the sodas we have today. And then we want to print the stock for the user. So they can see what we actually have. So we'll say system.out.print ln machine dot check stock. And we'll go and check to make sure that we have a method that checks the stock. Okay, so we do. So let's go ahead and run this to make sure we get what we uh, we're going to get what we want. So we'll save it and then compile it, and we'll hit run. And here you can see we have a column of Pepsi's, a column of Diet Pepsi, 7-Up, um, Water, and what did I place for E? E was Dr. Pepper, because I used D for Diet and P for Pepsi. So you could pick another letter if you like. Okay, so then now that we have a stock, we want to ask the user what, what they want. So we'll write them a message, system.out.print ln what type of soda would you like to buy? And then we'll give them a choice so they know what they can purchase. And I'll say enter choice. And I'll say Coke. 
and then I'll put what they should type in in brackets. You could also add numbers that they could enter, but we're going to work with strings. And I'm going to go ahead and list them in the order that they have them. So we're going to do Pepsi actually. And then we're going to do Diet Coke, Diet Pepsi, and then Dr. Pepper. And actually, I'm just going to use Pepper to shorten the string a bit. And then I'm going to use 7 Up. I can put a dash in there if I want. And then we're going to use, let's see, we got water. Okay. Let's go ahead and compile and run this. Let's see if our output is what we want. And then they can enter those different things. Choice one of those choices. Alright, so then the next thing that we need to do is to scan in the choice from the user. And so we'll say system.out. Let's see, wait a second here. Ah, oh, sorry. Back up for a second. We're going to say string answer is equal to reader dot next line. And then we will pass it in that into a method to remove it from our 2D array. So we need to say machine dot check stock remove and we're passing in our answer okay so then we need to get check stock and then remove okay so we need to write this go back to our machine and write this method so we're gonna hit save and then go back to our soda machine. And we'll go down to the bottom. And we're going to write a method called checks. Actually, let's shorten it. We can go up here and we can just say remove stock. So what we're trying to do then is um, if someone buys a soda, um, typically it falls out the bottom and then the rest of these would fall down into place. Um, we can kind of fudge this a little bit by just removing the one from the top. Um, so I'm going to uh, remove this. Actually, I'll just do a new one. Okay, so we're going to say public void remove stock. Um, okay, actually, what I want to do is check stock. To remove, and then I want to pass in my string answer. So let me go back here for a second to the runner and change this to check stock to remove. Because first of all, we've got to check what string or what um, type of they want to remove before we can actually remove it. So we're going to say then if 
answer dot equals ignore stock or in our case Pepsi then we're going to remove stock at zero because our Pepsis are in column zero and then we'll say else if answer dot equals ignore case um, dot um, diet Pepsi then we'll remove stock from column one then we'll continue this for each column so we'll say else if answer dot equals ignore case Dr. Pepper Now we want to remove stock at two and else if answer dot equals ignore case um, then it's seven up and we'll remove stock in column three. And then lastly, we'll say else if answer dot equals ignore case water. Then we'll remove stock in column four. And of course, you could add other columns with other sodas and just expand this method. Okay. And then you need to close off the method. And I think I have an extra curly brace here, so let me get rid of one of these. Okay, so I'm going to hit save. Save each of these guys. And once we have the stock to remove, then we need to go ahead and make the method to remove the stock and since that is a little bit of a lengthy method I will save that for the next video